Hi everybody, it's Citizen Max here again and today I'm going to do part two of movable chord shapes. It's been a little while since I did part one. Um, if you remember in that part one I did the D chord shape which is the equilateral triangle on the top three strings. So we're talking about the top E, that string, the B string and the G string. Strings 1, 2 and 3, if you want to number them. That's the conventional numbering. And this is the D shape. First finger on the second fret of the G string, second finger on the second fret of the E string, third finger on the third fret of the B string, in between them form a little triangle. So just to go over that, slide it up, keeping the same configuration, and you get a different chord as you go up and down. The second shape I'm going to show you is based really on an A shape. If you play an A chord, an open A chord down here, you've got a five string open chord, open A, then squashing the three fingers, second, third and fourth finger, all on the second fret of the next three strings, the D, G and B, and then the open E. But I'm going to make it even easier than that because we're only going to again just deal with the top three strings. So we're taking off that finger from the D string and we've just got two fingers down. The third finger on the second fret of the G string and the little finger on the second fret of the B string. And that is a little A chord. If you then slide up these two fingers that you've got down you have to put down the first finger two frets behind it because if you want to keep the same relative distance that's what you've got to do okay you can't go up like this sounds horrible and you know it just doesn't keep the same shape you've got to keep everything same configuration but it's not too difficult that's A move up one you've got A sharp move up two you've got B move up another one, you've got C, and so on. If you know the names of the notes in music, then you've now got yourself another 12 chords. Okay, there are only three string ones, but in the next video, what I want to do is show you how to tie these two shapes, the D shape and the A shape, together. Into making quite a nice little sound in fact, you can play many, many songs using just those two shapes. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. It's been Citizen Max. And um, please look at my other videos.